to troubleshoot any kind of application or operating system performance issues, battery life issues, and even overheating issues, the best first step is to boot the device into safe mode since a lot of times these issues are actually from a third-party application that you have installed. So to boot into safe mode we first need to bring up the power menu. We do that by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds. Then we're going to tap and hold on the power off option. And as you can see after a few seconds that brings up safe mode. And then we're going to tap on that safe mode button. It's going to reboot the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. And that's going to boot us right into what Android is known for as called safe mode. Now what this does is it disables any and all third-party applications. You can see we have the safe mode watermark down there at the bottom left corner. And any third-party application is going to be grayed out. You can see even the, the Samsung Internet application is grayed out the Solid Explorer, Magisk, all of these third-party applications are grayed out. And again we have a notification to remind us that we are in safe mode and that is why these applications will not launch. So again to troubleshoot whether you're having performance issues, battery life issues, even overheating issues they could be caused by one of these third-party applications so the first step would be to boot into safe mode and then use the device for as long as you can in normal use usage patterns now naturally you won't be able to use any type any of your third-party applications like you normally would but it is ideal to ignore that because again it is a fast and easy way to find out if it is a third-party application that is causing it. So while you're in safe mode, if you do not experience the battery life, overheating, or performance issues that you did before, then it is definitely one of these third-party applications and your next step would be to uninstall or disable them either one by one or all at the same time until you find which one is actually causing the issue. You can try to dive into the battery section of settings and see if it's showing up at the top but more often than not you're going just to just need to uninstall until you figure out which one it is. Now once you are done with safe mode, to get out of it we just need to bring up that power menu again, tap on the restart button, and then tap the restart button again. This will turn off our Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus. We'll boot right back into the Android operating system. and because this time we didn't tell the device to boot into safe mode it will actually instantly take us out of safe mode so we no longer have the watermark down there and our applications are no longer grayed out so that is how to boot the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus into and out of safe mode.